Hot Packs with Robert Reese here, people. We got a good one. On today's boardroom, we got two of them. One, up and coming, rising, high flyer. He says he can do it. He has the brain for it. He's putting himself in the right situations so he can do it the right way. He comes all the way from Minnesota. Said if he can do it in Chicago, he would have stayed there. He chose to go a different path to see if the decision that God had him do is all worth it. And for what he says, it is. The other gentleman coming all the way from New York City. This gentleman who said he can do whatever he wants to do and no one can tell him how to do it. This gentleman says the right way is his way. Is the right way his way? We don't know, but we will find out. People, we are talking about the man who has shown you the most on camera than anyone else. The one, the only, Bud Soda. And he's gonna be going up against, in comparison with two channels, Dash and Q. Which two philosophies of starting off and growing is the way to go? We don't know. But, if you watched the interview with Dash and Q and heard his fire on how he got started, he thinks he has an advantage over anyone in the game that says they can start from scratch. He says he has, he'll show you how. But Soda says, I don't care about scratch. I fill my thing up with numbers. Will the scratch or the number work? We'll find out on the boardroom. Let's go take a look. Let's take a look here. But so the people, he has a D minus and a C plus, but it's the same thing. I don't know what happened from yesterday and today, but it's only about one sub and like three views. I don't know, rewind that. But this is Bud Soda. Bud Soda is also, has been on Social Blade for over five years. On the other one, it says nine. But they both say 2014, okay? Now, here we have Dash and Q. He has not been on Social Blade for that long. Uh, he is not in a, a member with the green dot. So, there you go. But sort of was, we'll take the C minus and the C plus, the D minus and C plus and make it a C, and we'll take his as a B minus. As you see, uh, we go there, he is all the way scratch. He don't know nothing about Social Blade, but Soda is a member and he understands. We're gonna take that C plus and put it to a C, just to average it out. D min uh, B minus for Dash and Q. Now check this out. But Soda and Dash and Q are on this rise here. They are both fighting to fight what they have to fight for. They both want to be relevant when it comes to the gig space. Now, when it comes to be or having relevancy in the gig space, what does that mean? Well, first of all, you got to understand that people have to like what you are talking about and it has to make sense and they have to see a future in it. So right now we got 526 sales for Bud Soda, 436 for Q. 37,000 uh, views for Bud Soda and 200 and I think 12,000 uh, views for Dash and Q. As you see the numbers show Bud Soda gonna stay at that steady rate there but Dash and Q was jumping up. Now Dash and Q, he is in talks with Dash and Trader and which means that he has some pretty good content that's somewhere out there that someone has discovered, okay? But Soda appears on every panel there is and makes his face relevant. Which one is more worth it? We're gonna go ahead and check this out. Now, five subs a day for Q, one for Bud Soda, 3,429 views a day for Q, 171 for Bud Soda. Now, 
as you see the, the future projections here, it shows that the hard work and dedication that Q is putting in, now he says he had another channel that failed, and he said once he started this, he knew exactly what he was not going to do the first time. But Soda says, I'm gonna do this the way I want to, and this is how it's gonna work. We look at how both these things go. Which one is more productive? All we know is what the chart show. The chart shows that Dashing Q will be at 1300, but Soda at 708. Now, but Soda is still climbing, and we'll talk about some of the positive things that but Soda does when it comes to the gig economy. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about what he does to see if that stuff translates all the way into making videos and content. We'll also do that with Dashing Q. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and click a little clip here and you'll see that just recently on with the Social Blade system, this is powered by Social Blade, Dash and Q has a video that is going to appear at 22,000 views. If you go back and check on, well, on that day, he had 22,000 views. Okay, on that day, he had something else go in with another bunch of other videos, and that's what he got. That's a huge payday of someone saying, I'm putting in my hard work and success. Much power to you there, Dash and Q. What I'm gonna show you now on the flip side of this is what happens when you say, I'm gonna do my channel the way I want to. Now, we all know that being someone that can say I can do it and no one else can tell me how we know there's pros and cons well we'll go ahead and check this out we'll check out the uh, views for the last month but soda had a day of 2860 views that is a great day because he only gets 171 chances are what he did that day showcased something that the people liked and what is all about him but here is the thing here. Let's get down to the nitty gritty and talk about this full analysis right now. Bud Soda has a channel to where he says, I'll do what I want to do. Meaning people, Bud Soda is known as the dirtiest player in the game. He dirty multi apps. He's been deactivated by so many different uh, apps that he says he's an independent contractor and he can do whatever he wants to do. He said when he pulls into Walmart Spark, that when you pull in and the order's not there, he's driving off to do something else and then come back. He has his own rules. Now here's how that translates over to the YouTube. He goes ahead and does that and shows people exactly how he works. Now even though his great thing is appearing on multiple channels, showing people that he is a friendly guy, he gets up there and shows people what not to do. Now he says, you are your own boss. I'll show you how being your own boss is. Could this be a great channel for the future? We don't know. But by the way it looks, people like to hear him speak on panels but not watch the videos. Now this could be a downfall to most content creators, but not Bud Soda. He says as long as I am here and this is what I am going to do, this is what it is going to be. We have to credit his hard work and determination. But being on the platform for over 5 years and only having 500 subscribers, does this method really work? We don't know. What we do know is that Q had a change of heart. He used to run the streets. He used to do his thing. And he didn't want to go back from W2 running the streets, not knowing, paying child support and everything. He said he went to God. He broke down and said, God, what shall I do? God told him he has a plan. He went with the plan and he has been successful. Now he is trying to go ahead and make sure everyone can see what his success is. Here is the thing with Dash and Q. He recently had a meltdown. The meltdown calls for him to kick an elevator and confront a customer much like Dashing Trader. Now, he was asked that, because of that, do you think people will think that's what your content's gonna be? He had to come true and correct and say no. And he told people what he is and what he is, and what he is about. He had a mistake. He apologized for it. And he's showing people that even though you do this job every day, anyone can have mistakes. Now, he said he's not gonna do what he did in the past because it did not work. He said, this go around, I'm gonna show you what from the scratch is. He's given his hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. Is this a way that can work? Considering that he uses a style that is familiar with Dashing Trader and Side Hustle Addict, fam. We don't know. He took some of that and he has done one of, one of the things that is the most outrageous in all of the gig world. 
it will appear on most outrageous things done by delivery on by delivery drivers with hot facts with Robert Reese. But he still apologized. Is this going to be the downfall of him, or could this make his rise go up, or will they see him as just another gimmick? We don't know, but we will find out in the future. Both of these people are in the gig world, and they both want to have something to say. Let's have them. Let's have them say it. And let's witness something great. Now, if you would like to know more about what happens in the gig economy, make sure you do exactly what the next clip says. You've been watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese.